I guess I'm ready. I'm here to tell you about my mom. I love my mom. Don't get me wrong, we've had our issues. But for now, we're getting along pretty well. She's bigger than life, abundantly generous, but she has rules and you better follow them. The big problem for all of us rowdy kids who have our own ways of doing things. When it comes to fashion, mom is over the top. Every season, she drags out a whole new wardrobe. Winter to summer I can handle, but when she shows up in these colors, red, yellow, green, and blue, are you kidding? I don't know any other moms who dress like that. I come from a large, diverse family. Complainers, artists, tweeters, hunters, swimmers, crawlers, preachers, whole bone pickers, and clowns. Some of us get along pretty well. Others of us hardly know each other, and none of us look very much alike. There's a lot of commotion when we get together. My mom is often out and about working with lots of other groups. Though she's doing her thing, she's always been there for the family, no matter what stupid things we do. Whenever we misbehave, she shakes her finger and she says, you kids just need to learn how to get along. Mom taught me that all, all of us need the same things, clean air, Pure water, good soil, light, and lots of love. She taught us to consider everything in our family, to not leave messes for others to clean up, and to watch out for each other. A while ago, one of my bossy old sisters told me I should change the way I speak. Too much take, she says, not enough give. And stop putting the word the in front of proper names like your mother's. My sister, change your words, change your heart. So I listened to my dear sister, and I began to choose different words. Instead of taking a shower, I began to give myself a shower. Instead of taking a walk, I began to give myself a walk. And this simple practice altered my feelings about everything. Showers and walks started to feel more like gifts than entitlements. I felt grateful I could walk, and for that clean water that magically appeared right out of the faucet. Hmm. Then I started thinking about those who don't have such a luxury. And then I dropped the word the when I spoke about mom. After all, she's not my property. Nobody owns mom. Putting the in front of her name started to feel like I was talking about the garage, the house, the boat, the lamp I just bought. You see, my mom's name is Earth with a capital E and no the in front of her name. For all these years, she's been way too polite to correct any of us about this. She loves us all so much. She lets us go along, make our own mistakes, and work through our own consequences. But mom gets really pissed off when we don't listen. She whips up a furious tornado and knocks down all our houses. And then she burns down the whole playground. If that doesn't get our attention, family members, mama's going to blow her stack. I figure mom's biggest problem is how to meet the needs of all of us when a few of us aren't being very considerate of the rest of us. I thought it might be a good idea to listen more and talk less to my siblings. And that was a big challenge for me. There's not much I can do for mom that she can't already do for herself. I'm only one member of this family, but I gotta do something to make up for my bad behaviors. So now I write letters about stuff I care about. I hold up signs and I march with my friends and I eat more veggies and I shut off the water when I'm brushing my teeth. I got this crazy idea that some friends and I could gather in my studio and make a difference by doing art. We gather supplies, we set an intention, and ask Creative Source to help us with the mess we've all made. And our images have a lot to say and a lot of good ideas for action. But what I really wanted is to be kinder to the rest of my family. And remember that most of us are just trying to do the best we can I'm beginning to see how fragile we earth creatures are. And perhaps 
tiny actions can make a huge difference for all of us. So I began the practice of thank you. Those night crawlers on the road, I thank them for their hard work and pick them up and put them back in the grass. I say thank you, trees, for cleaning the air that I breathe. And when I pick up trash in my walks, I say thank you, garbage, for teaching me that I live on a spaceship with no trash can. I'm thinking listening to mom right now might be the most important thing we can do for our own species. Instead of ignoring her warnings, maybe we can get together and figure out some ways we can all make a difference. Remember what mom always says. You kids just need to learn how to get along. Spend 10 minutes outside, and it's easy to see that mom has all the details worked out. Aspen families grow and leaf out together. Bury your food waste. Those earthworms go right to work in about six weeks, turns into dirt. And those bees aren't buzzing around for their own entertainment. Did you know that our mom is the only planet that wasn't named after some Greek or highfalutin Roman goddess? Her name, Earth, comes from English and German words that mean ground. This is our big connection, family. Our mother, ground, literally gives us life. And one more thing. If you sound out the first three letters of her name, E-A-R, what do you get? Ear. Well, that's right, Sibs. It's time for all of us to put our ear to ground and listen to what our mom has been trying to tell us for a long, long time. Thank you.